Hi there. I just wanted to show something that I've been working on. Um, I've been making these little specimen cards. Um, these specimen cards are just made out of junk mail. Um, usually, actually, envelopes are usually what I, I used to make these. So um, I have some little items. These are um, from like, they're just like ephemera cuts. Um, some of these are Tim Holtz and some of them are um, just stuff I've ordered through like AliExpress or whatever. So um, I'm going to put little labels on them and uh, almost all of this except for the little thing in the center was created using um, supplies that were otherwise, you know, recycled garbage. So um, so I think they, they'll look good in my journals. Um, I can also make tags out of these or just put them in um, and little tuck spots or whatever and I just think they're very charming. So um, I have a box full of Ephrema that I've, I've kind of picked up over time. Uh, I just I just save them in here. There's just there's bugs and um, some of them are see-through um, like a it's like transparency film, um, translucent film and there's flowers. Um, I've got like little gross bugs, but I got butterflies and some of them are too big for these um, little specimen cards, but I've just been, you know, I just collect them and I just, I don't know, I have them over time. So um, I have done some watercolor on the background. I did some stamping and I'll show you how I did that. But um, this was a, actually this is from a dictionary page. The backside isn't finished. And you can see this is a recycled bag and this is a label that was on the bag but i used like a carnival ticket and i watercolored that and then stamped it as well and they're just kind of fun and you just kind of see through them the back looks like that but that's going to be tacked down unless i make a tag out of it like a bookmark or something they're just kind of fun. So there's a butterfly. This bag was a little beat up, but that's okay. It adds to the charm. Envelope. I like the colors on that one. The mushroom's a little hard to see, but there's a butterfly on that one. So, so let me show you what I did. So everybody's got envelopes, right? Um, when I get my junk mail, I go through a lot of them. These are like charities, charity, charity. I just take the stuff out of there. Sometimes if it has a window, you can actually use the window as part of your specimen card. So I've done that before. It's not as good as cutting out your own window though. So, so you can use these colored envelopes. Um, I would just use this part of it. Junk mail. Okay, you get the gist. So um, once I empty them out, I, um, I trim off anything up here. And then I just divided it into sections and you can see my pencil mark. It's not exact. Um, and then once I have kind of my pencil mark, um, I can use uh, watercolors. So here's one where I had the pencil marks and I did watercolors. And then once it dried, I knew where I was gonna cut. And then I put my stamps on and my stamps I used, um, because I used watercolors, I, I, I like to use a more permanent archival ink. So I like these stays on inks. They're very thirsty. Um, a lot of them I use this map. I got this stamp at Hobby Lobby. It was on. It was a ten dollars stamp, but of course I I probably got forty percent off on it. I've also used this music stamp. I like this one a lot. And then I have this other stamp. It's got like faded writing, and. I think it's in French, so I don't read French, but I believe that's what it is. So I just wanted a really light background just to kind of add some interest. So here's the map one. Okay, and then once it's once it's got its stamp on it, and these are the watercolors I use, by the way. Um, the ones that you see here, um, here's my watercolor pans, and I used... Um, one of these these like wetting brushes I got these from Arteza and I just I just dipped it in there I also have these stamps too oh, these uh, watercolors I like these ones a lot I get it open but if I just squeeze it right here see the it comes out and I can just add my watercolor to that 
And if you want, you can mix the colors. So let's say I wanted to do blue and yellow. Don't worry if it's dirty, it's not a big deal. And now you get some green in there. It's kind of a teal green. And then you can even fade the colors down. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time doing that because everybody can watercolor. I just want a background, that's all I want. I don't wanna have it be anything intricate or pretty because it's not going to be the focus of the piece. So you kind of get what I'm doing. And if I wanted to re-wet this, I can kind of soften up the color too. I just want some color. That's all I want. Nothing too particular. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm going to leave it like this. Don't have a hissy fit. It's just watercolor. All right. Then um, I'm losing my punches. I'm gonna let. I would let this dry, um, and then I would do my inking. So that's what I have this. So the inking I did here. Um, I I let the ink dry, and I like to when I do my inking. So let's do this one. I like to let's do this royal purple. I like to ink onto the stamp. This way I know it's getting, I can see the ink go on. This is a good tip. I started doing this recently and I was so happy with the result. Put that over there. Come on, get over there. And so here's one that I watercolored and it just needs to be stamped. And that's what it looks like. So that's kind of cool. All right, here's one that I inked. And I punched these out using a couple of different types of punches. So there's my square one and there's my round one. The round one is one of these Fisker punches. And the only problem is, is that you get really shallow to the edge here. And that's going to be hard to glue. So I don't really care for this type as much. But I, I love this one. This has got a magnetic um, base and your paper goes in here. So let me do this one. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of figure out where it says this side up. I want it like right about center right there. And there's a notch right here and there's a notch right there. And there it kind of magnets in place. And if I don't like where it's at, I can adjust it. Like maybe let's go a little more this way. Okay, that's gonna be a good place. And then that notch there matches the notch here, right there, and watch, it just magnets on. And then once you have it in place, there it is. And I could, I could use this for something else if I wanted. But watch this. That's a nice cutout right there. I just like these so you can, you can really see where your punch is going and all magnets in place. I've got a circle, a heart, and a, and a square. These have been discontinued like last spring. And I kind of wish I had brought some more shapes because they're just really perfect for these windows. So now once I have this where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. So I know my purple line right here is where, I drew a purple line in my cutter because it was driving me nuts. I couldn't tell where the line was. Yeah, that's good. There you go. A little bit of red showed through, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, so now my bug or my butterfly or my window is gonna go in there. So for that part, um, when I buy stuff, I get these little sheets. Um, the, I'm sorry, these little bags that come with a lot of the supplies. You can see it's paper crafts, whatever. So I just need to find one that fits this. And here's one I trimmed it down. And I think it should fit in here okay. Let's tuck that in there and see. Yep, that's going to fit. So I'm just going to need to put my bug in there. 
my butterfly and then glue it down. Now I did put a little bit of glue on here earlier so I didn't waste too much time on the video. The glue I used is this um, three-in-one glue. Um, I like this because it dries almost invisible. Like, like it's a very little bit goes a long way. You can see a little trace of it. I don't know if you can see that. I just a little tiny dab. You don't have to use much for this. Um, and I actually poured this glue into one of these applicator bottles. So I had a finer um, tip of the glue coming out. So here is my specimens. Um, here's the one I did ahead of time. There's a flower and there's a mushroom. Now look at this. This one, I used art glitter glue. It says it dries clear. Um, it doesn't buckle paper, which is really nice, but on something that's not paper, it doesn't exactly dry clear. So I don't know if that was a good choice for this. Um, this is a stronger glue, um, but uh, let me see if you can tell. Let me put this in a, I don't know if you can, you can't tell. All right, well, trust me, I see a little shadow of white from where this glue was. The condolence here is that it, it does kind of hide in the rim, so I'm not gonna see it too well. It'll be, the, that little white part will be hidden. So now I'm just gonna glue that down. But before I glued it down, I put a dab of glue. Let me use this one, I like this one here. I put a dab of glue on the back of the butterfly. Come on. There we go. Just a tiny little dab so it won't move around too much in this pouch I made. Just get it right in there. And the trick is to get it in there without it smearing glue all over. And now that's going to hold. You can see there's a dab of glue right there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just um, dab inside my little frame I made out of my envelope. Right inside there and get a little deeper so it's going to lay flat. And get this here without sticking. Okay, buddy, so you can see the glue. We'll get our butterfly in there. I'll just kind of center him in there. It's not quite center, they come in there. There, that's, that's pretty good. And put a little bit in there. Trying to get this so the camera can see it. That's funny. Okay, and there she is. All right. So now once this is dry, actually I could do this now. I can use my corner rounder. This is like, they call this the chomper, corner chomper. You can use this or you can use one of these old fashioned creative memory ones. I, I like this because it goes, it just is really quick. And I'm just gonna do the quarter edge punch. I like the rounded look, you don't have to do that, but. Okay. And then I can take my ink, maybe let's put a little Distressed on there. But yeah, so you kind of get the gist. Oh, look, I, I got a little strand of glue in there that'll come off. I'll have to work on that later. I won't spend time doing it now. Right 
and I just get that distressed edge. Now you can also get, um, the Tim Holtz has those um, ephemera labels and you can you can label the bottom, put like a, it's a specimen or something like that. You could put one of those on there. I thought about doing that. Actually, I might have to on this one because I got some glue right here. I think that's gonna come off, okay. So anyway, so that's how you just, I'm just I would just distress that and just give it a little personality. So you can see like this one I distressed pretty well. And I put a little another little tag down there, but that has some, some distressing on there. So, so yeah, that's what I did. And these are really fun to make, and I like to make them in big batches. Maybe when I've got some time to really, I don't know, just relax and enjoy the process. See, that one's distressed. That one I didn't get distressed too well. Um, but yeah, so that's how I did that. Um, I hope you enjoy this. If you do, just let me know with a comment. I'd appreciate it. So thanks so much. Bye-bye.